With the Canon EOS webcam utility, you can use your Canon M50 and many other cameras as a webcam over USB. This spring, Canon released the beta version of this software and now they just published the official 1.0 release of the EOS webcam utility. In this video, I'm going to tell you what's new and also why I'm not going to upgrade from the beta. Your next act, Mr. Marcus Seppala! How's it going? My name is Marcus Seppala. I'm a stand-up comedian and on this channel I help you engage better with your audience, whether that's on stage or on video. Today we're talking about the official release of the Canon EOS webcam utility and by the end of this video you should be able to decide if upgrading from the beta is right for you. Here's what we're going to cover in this video. First, what has improved in the final version of the utility, second, what has stayed the same, and third, what has gotten significantly worse. As always, this links to everything I'm talking about in the description below. There you can also pick up my free video conferencing checklist. And there is one new link in that description as well. I just launched my stand-up comedy for beginners course, so also check that out in the description below. Let's dive right into what Canon improved with the final version of the EOS webcam utility. The most important thing is that you can now record internally whatever it is that you're streaming with the EOS webcam utility. And this is of, of course useful if you want to record your video conference or your live stream internally on the camera. But for me, there's actually a much more important benefit to being able to record internally. And it is that I can now use my computer as a monitor with my Canon M50. Here's how I use the EOS webcam utility to help me monitor my recording when I'm recording videos like YouTube videos, for example. I have the camera connected via the USB cable and then I open up OBS and that means that I can see the whole video on my big screen, which is a lot easier to use than my small Canon M50 built-in screen. Here's how it worked in the beta version of the EOS webcam utility. Whenever I had the USB cable plugged in and I pressed the record button, nothing would happen because it was not able to record at the same time as the EOS webcam utility was active. In the beta version, I was only really able to use this to check the lighting and the framing because when I wanted to actually start recording, I needed to disconnect the USB cable so that I could actually use the internal recording on the Canon M50. So this official 1.0 release is actually really good for anybody who wants to record video on their Canon camera and simultaneously monitor it via OBS or some other piece of software. By the way, if you're wondering which camera I'm using to record this B-roll, this is my Canon XF100 camcorder. I actually made a video where I compare which is easier for making YouTube videos, my Canon M50 or my old Canon XF100 camcorder. I put a link in the description below if you want to check that out. There's another benefit of this feature as well. As you're recording your video, of course you want to regularly transfer your videos to your computer from your camera. Previously, because you were not able to have the USB cable connected at the same time as you record, you probably had to rely on Wi-Fi to transfer your files. Now, as you can keep your USB cable plugged in, you can use that to transfer your files and it's going to be a lot faster than relying on Wi-Fi. If this is valuable to you, hit the like button. Now let's talk about what has not changed between the beta version and the official release and that's the resolution. The video that you can get out of your Canon M50 with the EOS webcam utility is still 1024 pixels by 576 pixels. This is a bit of a weird resolution, it's not HD and it's no kind of standard resolution but it's certainly good enough for live streaming and for video conferencing. In just a moment, I'm going to jump over to the reason I'm not going to upgrade to the full version. But hey, if you've been getting some value from this video, please consider subscribing to my channel for more communication tips just like this. And here's the one thing that got significantly worse in the full version of the EOS webcam utility. It doesn't work in Windows 7. I run Windows 7 on my main desktop machine where I do all my video conferencing and all my live streaming. And this final version of the EOS webcam utility just won't install. 
Do note, however, that even the beta version was marketed as a Windows 10 piece of software, but I was still able to install it on my Windows 7 machine. I tried to do the same with this official release and it just won't install. So this is actually the reason why I'm not upgrading my EOS webcam utility from the beta to the official release because it just won't run on my machine. I was able to test it on my Windows 10 laptop and it worked perfectly. So if you run Windows 10, definitely check out the official release of the Canon EOS webcam utility. If you want to check out my step-by-step -step guide on how to set up your Canon M50 as a webcam using the EOS webcam utility, click or tap the link right here. Also remember to grab my free video conferencing checklist from the link below. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.